Candidate Trump carried on an unrelenting war on the dishonest press. He declared that they are all liars, that they can't be trusted. Now as president, he has made the stunning pronouncement that the press is the enemy of the American people. All of that is true, he admonishes, except of course for those few who report favorably about him. Clearly there are some in the press who have an agenda other than simply reporting the news, and calling out that behavior has some merit. On the other hand, that describes only a very small percentage of reporters. Can you name even one? And it doesn't describe those from major news outlets like the New York Times, CNN, the Washington Post, and the Wall Street Journal. Still, Trump has pummeled those and others with a continuous blistering attack of vague vitriolic accusations. But what if there's more to this than Trump's mental pathology? What if there are practical explanations for his fusillades? Let's see if we can conjure what those might be. I have two to offer. First, this is a time of populist anger at anything that might fall into the category of establishment. So attacking such things as the mainstream press both gives voice to the anger of the people and establishes Trump as one of the people. Really, how else would a farmer in Nebraska be able to identify with a gold-plated elitist from New York? That's a powerful ploy, powerful enough to get him elected. Second, and this is the truly pernicious one, imagine what is to come. There already has been a great deal of reporting on Trump's business activities, and the specter of conflict of interest and the perhaps outright law-breaking is more than a shadow on the horizon. To expect further revelations from determined investigative journalists is realistic, and Trump won't like that reporting. His only defenses will be to lie about it and to attack the reporters. If journalists are held in low, low enough esteem by then, and the national approval rating of the press is currently about the same as that of Congress, he may be able to get the people to ignore or even oppose adverse accusations about him. He may be able to yet again portray himself as an innocent victim of a dishonest press. Without that fourth estate to protect us, he may be able to spark a populist uprising against Congress itself. Who knows what will happen from that? What's your notion of why Trump maintains the drumbeat of attack on the press? Enter it into the comments section in the written blog so we can think about this together. As a corollary to this question, you must read Brett Stevens' comments delivered at the Daniel Pearl Memorial Lecture at the University of California, Los Angeles. In this age of alternative facts and the mind-numbing acceptance of what should be found abhorrent, Stevens will restore your belief in integrity and make you believe that it still lives. I'm Jack Altshuler.